so heavy. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. My hair is different yet again. It's short now. It's my yearly cut my hair off and then grow it out again. This video is one that you guys, I've been planning on doing for a while, but some of you have actually started requesting. I've been doing a lot of book hauls lately, so you guys have been wanting an updated book tour. I haven't done one in maybe six or so months. I think since I moved into this apartment. We're gonna do a new book tour. I got a new book shelf. Let me show you what what blah, 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 blah. let me show you what we're working with right now. Out here is pretty much gonna stay the same. This is pretty much my family friendly shelf. If I have family over and they pick up a book, I know it's not gonna weirdly be smut. So this is kind of like classics and just general fiction, poetry books, most of like my thrillers and memoirs and stuff like that. The bigger changes are going to be in the shelves in my bedroom. So these are the fantasy shelves. Pretty much the same since I moved in. Just added books from a lot of them from last week's video where you guys chose the books I read. I will tag that video if you haven't read it yet. It was a good way for me to clean up my TBR. But this shelf is going to be where the big change is. So this is my romance shelf. And when I first moved in, I did a poll asking you guys how to organize this. And you guys voted on the color coordination. And I still really like that but my thing with this shelf don't like having like a series of books that's not in series order so pretty much from like here and this whole bottom shelf is series and there's no more room on this shelf it's completely full so like the black shelf that's in my living room i got a like five shelf tall bookshelf that i tried to match the color of this too it might be a little bit different i'm probably going to put all of my series on so that my series my romance series can have their own shelf and stay in series order but i'll still have room to color coordinate individual books so I got that today, as you probably saw me struggle pulling it in my door. So we're gonna get that built. I might organize this, change it up a little bit now that there's kind of just like random shelves of random books. And then there's the TBR cart. I still have room, I haven't filled it up, especially with last week's video. I got a lot of it cleaned up that's been on there for a while. So we'll probably won't change. Get this bookshelf built. I gotta get this stuff cleaned up so my cats don't eat the foam. And then we're going to move this into my bedroom. I'm gonna show you, whoa, I'm gonna show you like the general idea of where it's going. So because I want it to be an extra romance shelf, where this shelf is now, I want it in the corner and then have this shelf next to it. I have a ton of like space to push my bed over, which is honestly fine because I have so much space on this side and none on this. And when my boyfriend comes over, he feels like he's crushed against the wall. Tall shelf and this one. And then I'll be able to like stack books on top of here more securely too. So we're gonna get everything in the bed pushed over so we can get that shelf into this corner. what that looks like now. I was trying to decide if I wanted to put this part flush up against this part of the wall, but there was enough of like a space that I felt weird about it. This is the vibe. That's as close as a color match as I could find. It just matches my floor, if anything. And I still pretty much have the same amount of room on my bed on this side. But like, I can't fit any more shelves, but this works. And I feel like it matches better with like my picture wall situation with it having like going up there a little bit. But yeah, let's get all this junk organized again and then we will get to my books. And we got that stuff back up. Hi Madsen. Now I feel like I need a rug for this side because I have this little one on this side. I might need to get a rug for this side now. Now there's just like a lot of space. Now we're going to go through the books mainly on this shelf. I think I might pull a couple that are like companion novel-y and put them on this shelf, but this is just gonna be like standalone color-coded shelf and then this is gonna be all my series.
I accept the way that this looks. And now I have too much bookshelf space, but in like the four months I've been here, I've already filled up an entire bookshelf. So I don't think that that's necessarily going to be a problem. Let's show the emptiness of these bookshelves. So this is what romance looks like now. These are all our standalones that are just in color corded order. And then this is series. Basically what I ended up doing, these are like Jenny Han adjacent and then like series that I probably won't really go back to that much. Then we have the addicted series because again, I probably won't read it, go back to it that much, but like I still liked it. So it's not on the bottom. Not that I didn't like these, but like I probably won't touch those the most. Those I might touch a little bit more. And then as we go up, there's stuff actually like. This is basically all duets. I have the second book, Daisy Hates, but I haven't read it yet, are all duets. This shelf and this shelf are going to be like multiple book series, like three books or more. That's the vibe for that. These are all the same, just color coded. I think I got everything out of there that like is a series that I will continue. Like I think some of these might have companion novels, but I don't know if I'll necessarily read them. So that's what those are going to stay for now. And then I moved around a bit on the fantasy shelf, but not much. These top two are kind of the same. This, I swear, my Greek mythology with the Shatter Me series just because I felt like that fit a little bit better. It fills with the space a little bit more with the candles and stuff. Zodiac Academy, that stuff's kind of stayed because I didn't really have anywhere else to put it. This is like the books I don't really like and my middle school classics. I put a couple more down there. These are just standalones, like again, series that I don't necessarily know if I'll continue. And then these are duets and series. These two are a second books to the first books that are on my TBR cart. I haven't read them yet so they're just sitting here but the rest of these are duets and or series and then the top stayed the same since last time I did this I added Once Upon a Heartbreak and Ballad Never After I love that series so they deserve to be up top but yeah that's the vibe with that I didn't change anything with my like family appropriate living room shelf that's the same as it was when I showed you earlier that was my sort of updated book tour and my new shelves. Lots of space to fill up, which I don't think it will take that long, especially with holidays coming up. Usually people just panic give me Amazon and or Barnes and Noble gift cards because they know I like books and they don't know what to get me. But yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I love and appreciate you. Down below is my Amazon wish list if you want to send me any books on there to help me fill up my new shelves. Down below is also my Pango books. You can buy mine or other people's used books. It's a cheaper way of filling up your bookshelf. Uh, if you want to follow me on my social medias, those are also down below. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I love and appreciate you so, so much. Please stay safe and I will see you guys somewhere else on the internet. Bye.